Yahoo.com, Golden State Warriors. Nothing funny about that. Romic, that's him. I'm Ara. The Golden State Warriors went deep into the playoffs last year. If second round is deep, then yes, they went deep. I mean, what is that, second round out of four rounds? They went halfway, let's say. That's deep for them, especially for they a team They were the eighth seed and they beat the one seed, so let's give them some props there. For right. a team that we didn't expect to make the playoffs in the first place after, you know, God knows how many years. Uh, finally, they make the playoffs, they go deep. A lot of surprise, a lot of surprise players stepping up to the plate. And I'm going to start with your boy from your alma mater, UCLA, Matt Big Dog Barnes. Matt Barnes and Baron Davis, both UCLA products, key contributors. Baron Davis finally put like a healthy season together. He's big shot. Showed what he could He's do. He's big shot. And Brought down like he wasn't shooting as many three pointers as he usually was. He can shoot them anyway. I don't mind him shooting. I don't know. Them. He shoots at about a thirty percent clip. You don't want that. What do you want? Forty? The guy is the most, when healthy, Baron Davis is the most explosive player in the league. I remember I had him on my fantasy team a few long time ago, and he tore it up. And remember me. when he shit on Andre Kirilenko last season? <laughs> I do remember that. Yeah. I think Andre Kirilenko started crying after that. He did. But getting back to Matt Barnes, what I want to talk about is, is this guy going to be the same this year, or is it just a one, not even a one-year wonder, it was more of a one-playoff wonder? I'm thinking you don't want to expect too much out of Matt Barnes. He's going to give you like seven and three. I think in, he's, a, he's a system guy. That's what he is. Plays good D, gets an occasional rebound, an occasional steal, occasional big three. You know, I think I think in that system, yeah, really? yeah, yeah. I don't remember him shooting three. I think in Nelly Ball system, he's he's a he's a good fit. Are you happy with Nelly Ball? I'm not happy with Nelly Ball because Nelly Ball showed what it can do. It can be exciting. It can beat like a big team in the first round, but then when it comes down to it, it they just a seven. It just can't compete with the with the San Antonios. You can't compete with the Phoenixes. I totally agree. I they're totally small. Agree. Maybe they're just new. Maybe they just haven't gelled. You got to give them a chance. Well, N Nelly did it in Dallas. I mean, he didn't win the big one, but you know what? He took him to the playoffs every year, and that's exactly what he was brought to Golden State to do. He doesn't preach defense, and defense wins championships. He's just trying to outscore the other team. Remember that when we talk about Phoenix. All right. All right. Let's also talk about a defensive stopper that they picked up in the offseason, Troy Hudson. Troy Hudson. Him, Ruben Patterson, Dog life, baby. Mike Skinner, all these guys are interchangeable. They're the same person. I don't even know what to say about Troy him. Troy Hudson, the point guard from the Minnesota Timberwolves that I believe used to be on Clippers a long time Wasn't ago. Wasn't that Sam Cassell? <laughs> You're thinking of the other Troy Hudson. Okay. But Troy Hudson, all he does is come down and shoot threes, and I'm thinking to myself, don't they have... 12 guys on their roster that can do this anyway, why would you pick this guy up? You don't need a backup point guard, you already have a bunch of guys. The and Warriors they, needed a big defensive stopper. And what do they do? A controversial move, which I'm not down with. And this guy was one of my favorite players in the league, Jason Richardson, trading him to Charlotte. That is huge, by the way, because I think he, more than what he was offering offensively, which is spectacular dunks and whatnot, I think the team just, they had, to, they had this chemistry and they broke it apart. I think behind Kobe, this is a controversial comment, but I think behind Kobe, Jason Richardson might have been the best two guard in the West. Better than Paul Pierce? Paul Pierce is in the East. Oh, in the West. Is that what yeah. we're talking about? I don't know. He did, his, his shot is streaky. He can do it. Defense is overrated in the NBA. Nobody plays it these days. Yeah, but I like Jason Richardson. Traded him for Brandon Wright out of North Carolina. No, I don't really know much about that guy. Raw really? tools. He's another Marvin Williams. Drafted by the Hawks a few years back. Like, uh, he's One of those guys skills. that's like, you know, maybe three or four years away from being like a dominant if NBA. Like that. Yeah, I mean, a lot of these guys don't even pan out, so yeah. I don't know. I'm sick of these guys that come out of college and people say that they have they have the fundamentals, things you can't teach, like they can jump, they can run, things like that, but yeah. we'll teach them how to shoot, we'll teach them how to box. It never out pans out. When does it ever work out? Definitely doesn't. There's so, I don't know about, I mean, they say... Was Marcus Aldridge like that too? He was all right, really? wasn't he? He showed flashes of brilliance. I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm just not going to. I want someone to come out and make an impact. They saved a what lot of money see? with Jason Richardson, though. That's what it's coming down to. Yeah, it was a money decision. Yeah. So, who knows? Brandon Wright may be a big body. Al Harrington's a decent player. I like him. He can you know, do I like it. Al Harrington. He just hasn't played up to his potential. Mm. That's the problem. He never did it in Indiana. He definitely didn't do it with... Atlanta, yeah. you know, and, and, and you know, he needs a major role. He needs to play, and I think he's even coming off the bench with these guys. He's not even starting. What about the controversial move of making Steven Jackson the captain of the team? At first, I was, I thought to myself, they're morons. This guy's a thug. That's all he's ever been. That's all he'll ever be. He got into a fight. He got suspended when he was with the Pacers. He came here. Firing some guns in the air outside he's, of a strip club. He just club. does stupid things, but you know what? And is there anything good that's ever happened at a strip club for an athlete? No comment. All right. But you know what? This guy, 
I'm thinking they decided let's give him some responsibility and see how he handles it. I like it. I like the move. I'm going to be honest with you. I'll He's tell you why. Because you take like the troublemaker and you give him responsibility, you put him in a leadership role, that forces him to lead by example. Has that ever worked before? Yeah. Give me one example. When you were a troublemaker back in the Boy Scouts and they made you Boy Scout captain. Yeah, that's right. I remember. It was 10 years of heaven. There you about, go. It was this, about... Wasn't that seven years. minutes of heaven in the closet? <laughs> it was. Let's move on. They dropped a staple. A Donald foil. A Donald foil, Colgate lower University. <laughs> really? Yeah. Let's lower the flags on that one because let's have a moment of silence for that. He Donald wasn't out of work for long. I think he got picked up by the Heat. Why? That's my next Shaq's question. backup. So they need. Don't Shaq and the Donald foil hate each other, first of all? Do they? Definitely. Doesn't they Shaq hate everybody? Only the big centers that hack him. All right. You know, but again, I mean, these guys. They needed a big body. A we Donald, just talked about big bodies. We did talk about big bodies, but I don't think a Donald Boyle fits that bill. Are you sure? He was pretty garbage. You're, you know, I don't think so. He was, he was a big man. He was heavy. He can go and get some rebounds for you. Yeah, they but lost so Eric so Dampier. So, so was Oliver Miller, Miller, though. You don't yeah. see him in the league. But you need one on your team. They have this one guy on their team. His uh, Andres Biedrins. Now, I like guy, him. He's 6'11", 245. He's a lanky guy. He's not big. Can't shoot a free throw to save his life. I mean, what, life. NBA, what NBA is no, no, no. except for Yao Ming? No, there's there's bad free throw shooters like Shaq and Ben Wallace and Ben Wallace, and then this guy just takes it to a new level, like Chris Dudley level. Air balls, breaks off the backboard. No, I mean, what is he? He's, he's he hit a couple big ones in the playoffs last year. I know that. I remember missing a couple big ones. Really? Maybe that was the game yeah. that they lost. But I, I've, I I saw him hit a couple big ones, and you know what? He's this new modern type European centers can run the floor. You know, probably get thrown around. It's a little sexy. It's a little sexy, little faux hawk. Yeah. You know, and uh, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, it gives a he has a spark plug. You know, gives the team the spark plug that they need, especially with this guy coming off the off the bench. I like him. I mean, the Warriors gave everybody. You know, they became America's team for about a playoff series last year. Everybody watched it. That was the most exciting series in all of the playoffs, championship included. Yeah, but these guys start off the season as you know one of the most overrated teams. Everybody says every year, oh, they're going to be good. They should make playoffs. They have the talent on paper. They're not bad, you know, but they're a bunch of thugs. Okay, let's see what happens this year. Let's see if everyone's going to love them in the door. I say look for another eight seed in the playoffs, probably another one and out. They're not going deep in the West. Yeah, definitely not. Not, mm -hmm. not unless they make a major trade. Lastly, I just want to mention Monte Ellis. Neck sprain, he's going to be all right, folks. Well, my neck he's is hurting right, right now, too, and I know how he feels. You're going to be all right? I might be out for the next video. Then we're going to be all right. Golden State Warriors on the buzzer, Romic, Aura. That's all we got for you guys.